Now everything is on. Here's electricity. Here's the hair. Um, this barrel is for wastewater. This bucket is for recovered ethanol, industrial grade ethanol. It's not drinkable ethanol. Just one more time. And a uh, little bit about the system itself. So, just similar like at many of my uh, different systems, he's a water distributor and big steam generator an actual separator is within the steam generator inside it's just heated up and uh, physically separated from the actual steam generator and from the steam so the steam that generates over there is recondensed is a condenser and is a a return tube you can see just going along the side and this tube goes back to the steam generator so the same water all the time um, the water distributor is compensating if uh, any water just evaporated so it keeps the level all the time constantly uh, plus here's a say uh, here's a water supply to cool the system so it's going from here and goes up into this condenser. Here you can see the um, reflux valve, reflux control valve. So you can control the reflux ratio and percentage of the ethanol coming out. In ideal condition, it's supposed to be ab about the same. It uh, gets gets in like uh, if you use nine. 90% ethanol it's better to recover 90% ethanol is a control tube on a deflagmator you can see the level of the ethanol if there is any should be there is a contaminated water trap and separator on this side so it separates the water back here this second tube is a, a tube that actually connects the actual system with the atmosphere so there is no overpressure within the steam generator and it acts like a bypass in case of extra pressure or something so it's always breathing and it's just dropped into the barrel for the waste to water so it doesn't matter all the condensation can go there no problems you can collect it separately if you wish reuse it uh, what else is a water an actual steam generator is the level you can observe it Here's the temperature, it's upside down, should read differently, let's see it from this side, oh, it's alright, 13 degrees Celsius, it's quite cold. So we've got 13 degrees and we're gonna wait until the temperature reaches about 78 degrees, 80 degrees. So when we're gonna keep it constantly. So we're gonna control it with the contaminated ethanol and water supply. So make sure that the temperature stays at the level of ethanol boiling. And this is it for now. Uh, Here's a control valve for the contaminated product supply and this valve is used to control the actual temperature within the boiler. Now it's 13 degrees, we're still waiting. It's gonna raise very soon. 
and here's our barrel filled up with contaminated liquid and ethanol that we're going to recover. 